I walked into a mattress store the other day, and there was a sign on one of these mattresses, and it said on the sign, in quotes, this mattress is how I spell perfection. But then, dude, you spelled it wrong. All right, I'll take it. Uh, my girlfriend gave me a purity ring, so I dumped that bitch. Uh, she was in a lot of sentimental shit. Like, this one time she came up to me in the store, she found this bumper sticker. It said, if I had a dollar for every time I thought of you in a day, I'd be a millionaire. It's like, baby, that's sweet, but you got to put that back. Because if I was a millionaire, I wouldn't have to date a fat bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys are fucking awesome. I love y'all. I'm going to take y'all home. <laughs> Make me a sandwich. So obviously I'm single now. And uh, so I've been back on the dating scene. I was having a one night stand a couple weeks ago, and this girl looked up at me so fucking hot, just in the middle of it, just goes chug, and she yeah. come at the same time. So hot. I was like, damn, that would be hot. You should have told me that three minutes ago. <laughs> you don't know how Wiley Coyote can afford all those grand pianos? <laughs> Man, all right, it's going great for me. It's going really well. All right, I appreciate it. I needed this. Another great crowd. Okay. Um, well, there's something that sounds pretty similar, but it's important to remember the difference in in getting butt dialed by your grandmother and booty called by your grandmother. Yeah, that's good enough. All right. So I like to cross the street at crosswalks when the hand says "Don't go." So if I make it safe, I can give it a high five. <laughs> Some late bloopers there. I bet it's best if a girl wakes up while you're having sex with her to act just as surprised as she is. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So I mean, like a lot of people, like that was a rape joke, by the way. <laughs> a lot of people look at rape like it's a bad thing lately. I guess it's getting a lot of bad PR or something. I don't know. Like they fail to focus on the positive, like. If it wasn't for rape, I would have never been born. <laughs> and neither would four of my children. <laughs> this chick, uh, she came up to me after my show one time. She was like, I just want to let you know, I think your rape jokes are super offensive as a rape survivor. <laughs> yeah, tell me. I'm like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize you were a rape survivor. I didn't recognize you without... Mace in my eyes. <laughs> she was like, how would you feel? Hey, can you see me? Can you see me? Yes. You can? So you're not blind? You're just loud? Yeah. All right. Sorry. It's all right. I'll forgive you this once. The next time, <laughs> you're going to get it. I'm going to get the guy with the coonskin hat to come sit with you. <laughs> you want to talk, he'll talk to you. <laughs> I saw a homeless guy get arrested for possession the other day, which was ironic. You come on now. <laughs> so I was eating a bag of Sour Patch Kids the other day, thinking to myself, where, where are the Sour Patch parents? 
I think the reason girls don't like to give blowjobs or hand jobs is because we call it a job. Like, I think if we made it, we like target it towards them, like made it like a gig or a hobby, something fun, they might enjoy it. Like, baby, come here and give me a hand gig. Let me get a blow hobby. <laughs> well, they're like magic eight balls. You can shake them all you want, but eventually they're going to tell you what they think. <laughs> Let it linger. I'm better at sex than women because I always achieve orgasm. <laughs> you ever wake up in the morning and you got a melted Klondike bar on your chest and a fat girl in bed with you? <laughs> what did I do for that Klondike bar? <laughs> yeah, man, that happened to me the other day. I rolled over and this fat bitch was in bed with me. Look, she went to talk to her friend. <laughs> she did. She went to talk to her friend. She goes, and then she saw me, like, look at her. I gotcha. So anyway, you weren't the fat girl, but then I woke up with this fat girl in bed, and I mean, God, she was so ugly. She wasn't even a, a butterface, man. She was like, I can't believe it's not butterface. And I just thought to myself, damn, God, I must have been drunk, because when I went to bed, you were way skinnier and had way less penis. <laughs> dog and I want to name him Syndrome so when he jumps on the couch I can yell Down Syndrome! <laughs> I'm starting to get into the whole anonymous sex thing and I'm loving it. Like I'm glory hole is my new favorite thing because I love not knowing that if it's a guy or a girl on the other side when I'm sucking their cock. <laughs> you shouldn't tell a girl if you don't sleep with me I'm gonna kill myself. Because it sounds desperate. And what if she's a necrophiliac? <laughs> For those of you that don't know what a necrophiliac is, they fuck corpses. Woof! <laughs> 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 fucking corpses. Thank you, girl. Let's give it up for that, girl. Uh, yeah. 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 All right. I think there should be a twofacebook.com for writers. <laughs> fuck. All right. Um, See if I can find something good. I'm gonna I'm gonna get off of here when I get the next big laugh because you guys have been awesome to me so far. I like to pick up chicks at abortion clinics because they put out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was a good laugh. I'm gonna end that one. Let's give it up. Actually, I think we're gonna do a thing here, a movie of the gayest fucking film ever. I'm sorry if you've seen it before, but uh, a couple months ago, me and Matt the the stoned guy before me, were approached and we were asked to do a uh, beer commercial. They wanted us to be their official sponsors. So uh, we're going to watch this and then we're going to come up and then Ryan Brown is up next. So yeah. let's give me one more hand because I was awesome. <laughs> All right, now enjoy this.